Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. Today we're going to talk about the meta strip, which is uh, a way to collect a set of strips together, group them, and then treat them as a single strip after that. And why would you want to do that? Uh, there's two reasons. First, it helps to clean up your sequencer. If you've been doing a lot of work and you're doing a lot of effects on top of your, your input strips, uh, it can get pretty messy, and when you group them, it basically collapses it, it all into a single strip. So it's a much cleaner look. And secondly, once you have it, everything as a single meta strip, you can apply any sorts of edits to that one meta strip, and it impacts everything. So if you wanted, say, to change the opacity, to uh, change the offsets, or do cuts, you can do all of that to every single one of the strips contained in that group just by touching that meta strip. Now let's take a look and see how it's done. As you can see on my screen, I have four strips right now. And if I play them, you can see it's basically uh, two timers, one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, they you use different frame rates. So this is the one on the bottom, this is the one on top. Because they have different frame rates, I'm also using a speed control effect strip on the upper one so that they will play in sync. And I also have a color strip just to draw a line that goes over that uh, number there. So how do you take this and turn it all into a single meta strip? Step one is to select all the strips that you want to group together. So I am just going to go to the select menu and go to select all. Now they're all selected. Second step is to group them by going to strip and choosing make meta strip or the keyboard shortcut is control G. As soon as I press that, all of those strips just disappear and instead we have this one new strip called meta strip. And as you can see, when you look at it, you can see based off of the colors in there that is composed of all those things that we had in, in there to begin with. And if I click the play button now, you can see it still performs exactly the same. And I can go ahead and do anything I want with it now. So like I said, I can change the opacity. I can bring the opacity down if I wanted to. Take that back up. I can go down over to here to image offset and I can shift everything one way or another and I can do cuts. So let me just stop that and I'll do a cut right over here at the 30 second mark. Cut. And as you can see, this side plays fine, that side plays fine on the left and right side of the cuts. No problems whatsoever. Um, and this is great news because as we saw in the previous video, uh, if you have a speed effect strip then you try to do a cut on that base strip and bad things happen. But this is a fantastic solution to that problem. You can even do things like, uh, you know, if I have these two things cut, I can swap their position now and it'll still play fine. I'll go ahead and do that. So I am going to take this one and I'm gonna drag it over here. And this one, I'm gonna drag it over to here. Uh, just squeeze that one over, you know, roughly. That looks about right, and I'll hit the play button. So now I jump ahead a bit. So now we're going to the 59, and then goes back to zero. Fantastic. So as we can see, making edits to the group as a whole, the meta strip, is very easy. But in addition to that, we have the ability to go inside the meta strip and make changes in there if we wanted to. We don't have to um, undo this grouping. The way to do it is to press the tab key when you have the meta strip selected. There, there doesn't appear to be an option from any one of these menus. So I have this strip selected right now. So I would just press the tab key and you'll see that now the sequencer has changed. So what we saw before, gone now, but instead in its place, we see the original strips that we had. Uh, and we can go ahead and make adjustments if we wanted to. Like if I wanted to, I can go and change this color to, you know, purple, right? And just like uh, coming into the meta strip, 
to get out of the meta strip, you have to press the tab key again. So I'll go ahead and press tab. And then we're back to that. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that these things are different. When we made the cut, we pretty much created a completely new set of strips. I made that change to the color of to the color strip of this second one, and you can see the first one is still orange. So essentially we've got two distinct copies of, of the strips and we can make changes as we please. Okay, so as we saw, getting in and out of a meta strip is very easy, just pressing the tab key. And if I go back inside again, you'll notice that what we're seeing actually extends beyond our, our scene frame range, right? This, this goes all the way out to here. What ends up happening is that when you create a meta strip, it's like it's creating some kind of uh, like pocket plane and you can have large quantities of things that extend past what the meta strip itself appears to contain. If I just um, click this again, the tab key, you, you can see that we're, we're only showing this portion of it, but when I jump back in, it really contains much more than that. Same thing with, with this one. If I select this one and press tab key, it actually starts over here, all the content, but what we're seeing when we are in the normal view is just that one piece of it. So it's really a great feature. And so one last uh, nice feature about Metastrips that I wanted to point out is that uh, once we start talking about animating, how to set keyframes so that Blender will interpolate through different values, uh, Metaframes can, can do that for you. You can set up keyframes at the start all the way to the end of your Metaframe. And then uh, if you start to apply cuts to it, everything will still work fine, and you, which is actually something that you cannot do if you try to do something like this with scenes. So we will see more of that when in a future episode. And that's it for now. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.